personne à sa recherche. Bizarre. Le capitaine a toujours été son protégé. Vitalis a changé depuis l'arrivée du porteur. Il s'est peut-être trouvé un nouveau protégé. Okay, did we did we just do it? Was it was that four guards in under five seconds? I think yes, it was. Okay, well, <laughs> I love how these guys get picked clean, but uh, yeah, we definitely wanted to take out that archer because he can be a real pain in the neck, and I am not a big fan of him just sniping us from afar. There is a pretty notorious section near the end of the chapter where we have to avoid a lot of the. Uh, archers shooting at us and using mobile cover and it's among one of the worst in the entire game and I think I'm not alone when I say it is awful <laughs> okay so we have one last guard who has a lot of armor a shield and uh, very good eyesight but this section has a tendency to be really glitchy because just behind him are two more guards and you can actually get caught up behind them in such a distressing way that they will constantly try to throw spears at you with breathtaking accuracy and yet you can't kill them because they're on the other side of the gate so it's uh, really an annoying facet of this so let's go ahead and extinguish some of this there you go on one occasion he actually uh, ran up these stairs here because I tried to get him a little too fast so we'll go ahead and get rid of that too there we go. And I love how they set up the tool here. Like, it, I feel like they just put it on a little stump there, and they were like, that's good. We're okay with that. All right, so we're set. That was all the guards, and uh, let's go just a little carefully. We need to make sure he comes out of here just a little bit. So just kind of bait him to come out. He'll investigate. Roderick will get in the way. He acts like a full-ass person. So let's just go ahead and get ready uh, to feast. <laughs> All right, it's very satisfying. Look at that, curled up like that. Man, these guys are picking them clean off the bone. That's what a pile of chicken wings looks like when I'm done with them. <laughs> I was talking about that the other day with Sarah. Just like our likes and dislikes of, uh, you know, bone-in versus boneless chicken. Chicken wings, I should say. And, you know, growing up with not a lot of money, I had a tendency to kind of have to eat clean off the bone. To, you know, maximize what we spent and uh, not throw anything to waste. So, didn't help that my dad's from Nicaragua and he would basically force us to eat everything regardless. Okay, good. They are not there. Yeah, the last time I played this, there were two spear guards just waiting on the other side of this. I couldn't kill them because of this fire and the rats, so... Still can't even pick up that alcohol. So, uh, a nice little preview of the soul flower in this uh, area. It's a Christmas rose, I think. It's kind of interesting, but it's over there, and we'll be able to find that after slaughtering about 10 or 15 more dudes. So, uh, Roderick, if you please. Tu t'en charges, Roderick? D'accord. Gentle. 
They made it. Also, stop running ahead so much, Roderick. We don't even know if the coast is clear. Alicia, you are alive. Listen, Vitalis is in the cathedral. Okay, but there is a whole battalion that comes towards you. You have to go from here. Take the escalators. This house is on the other side. Uh, the one that burns, there? We can't go to the road. Go! We'll meet you on the other side. Pay attention. The house. Let's go. Okay, so just as fair warning, before you investigate the burning house that we're going to, for whatever godforsaken reason, need to go through in order to make it to the next area, make sure you've basically finished off everything you want to here, because you're going to get ambushed like crazy. And I hope that's not spoiling too much, I guess, but a bunch of guards are going to come out, and uh, we still got to dispatch them. That was actually a little rough, <laughs> my method there, but they didn't see me, so... That was good. That's all I could ask for. Uh, so, yeah, lots of different ways that you can go about doing this. And they still are going to be real nice and giving you things here left and right. Got a couple of jazz. Uh, but I would also suggest probably extinguishing some of these fires because there's going to be a couple more dudes who are going to be a little too big for their britches. And they're going to try to follow us up here. So we'll do something like that. And let's get right down to it. Roderick, if you'd like to do the honors, or I guess I will, <laughs> why not? Oh, c'est fermé. Je vais l'enfoncer. Saloperie. Tu vas voir. You tell that door, Roderick. Les gardes qui arrivent. Roderick, à couvert. Hugo, on s'en charge. Amusez-vous bien. Donc les deux runes, rappelez-moi de pas vous énerver. Bien. Cette fois, ça va marcher. All right, in Roderick goes, but let's go and uh, loot their bodies. Those guys weren't actually as hard as I remember them being, mostly because I guess I don't know. I, I recognize their patterns now. Who who who, who knows, you know? But you can go and pick up their stuff, and before you head inside, that's when you want to do your final sweep. Because this door has opened, it will now lead the way to that flower that we saw before. So do not forget to get that because uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get otherwise, you know. So some of that episinguous. I've been using a lot of that this, this uh, time around. But if you have collected all of the flowers up to this point, this should be your last one. And as a result, we will be a grade A certifiably incredible botanist. Oui, c'est une guerrière. Elle se défend. Elle est comme nous alors. C'est vrai. C'est ta fleur. Merci Hugo. Allons-y. The Christmas rose. Ah, was I? There we go. <laughs> I was a little worried, but I am a major in the art of flowers. So, yeah, a couple of tricky ones to find. I'm not gonna lie, but for the most part, um. Nice little collectibles, and I'm glad that they persist throughout the chapter. So, we're all set here. I could make this, but I don't feel like it. We'll be fine. We don't have to use Luminosa ever again, so... I'm fine with not worrying about it. <laughs> now... Some grand idea, you know? Tu veux bien y aller? Ouais. Le plafond va tomber. Calme-toi. Hugo, t'as battu le capitaine de l'Inquisition. C'était un dur à cuire. Plus dur à cuire que moi. Non, jamais. Forge, le forgeron. 
Ça doit être la sortie. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. I think we're good. Uh, they give you some supplies, but not enough. Let's leave. No, you never <laughs> would be now, would you? Don't get too carried away either. Okay, now coming up, we have a trio of men we need to kill, uh, but fortunately, we have the power of stealth on our side. Oof, that was close. All right, well, uh, we saved these people, so. Oh, merci, merci. Soyez bénis. Oui, merci et bonne chance. Hey, attendez. Dépêche, à couvert, des archers. Bien joué, les gars. Ouvrez l'œil, surtout. Personne doit s'approcher de la cathédrale. La cathédrale. On est sur la bonne voie. Là-bas, la herse. C'est le seul chemin vers la cathédrale. On doit trouver un moyen de passer. Now, for quite possibly one of the most infamous sequences in the entire game, and it is uh, the carriage pushing archery section. It is awful. I will probably die here. So let's go ahead and get our affairs in order real quick. And we have ourselves, I think, the final workbench. I think there might be one more after this, but we have nothing else to craft, so there we go. Full inventory. <laughs> I guess that might come in handy for us. But before we go, there is one last thing that we should do, and that's to explore this alleyway where they kind of goad you into heading all the way to the end here and grabbing this. However, it now prompts you to look at this. Tu... Tu devrais pas. Pourquoi? Cet endroit. Je le connais trop bien. Uh-oh. Have we found somewhere a little too familiar for Roderick's taste? Because if so... This could be our last chapter-specific achievement to grab. Cette ruelle. Oh. Non. J'en étais sûr. Rodrigue, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Tu vas où? Allons-y. C'est pas vrai. Rodrigue. Il reste plus rien. Et ils ont brûlé ta maison? C'était la forge de mon père. C'est là que j'ai grandi. C'est là que. Je sais ce que tu ressens. Mais tu es encore là, et tes racines, ils ne pourront jamais te les prendre. Tu as raison. Je sais qui je suis. Allez, on doit sauver votre mère. Tu vas voir, maman elle est gentille. On partira ensemble, et on trouvera un autre château. Ça, ce serait bien. Yep, all that remains of the blacksmith's forge. So let's get the heck out of here. We are essentially done. If you still want to grab some more materials, I'd highly suggest holding on to some rocks while you still can. Uh, Somnum might also be a decent idea, but your biggest sort of barrier to entry here are going to be these assholes, and you can't kill them from afar. So let's get to pushing. Le chariot, Rodrigue. Si on le pousse jusqu'à la herse, il nous protégera. Hugo sera à l'abri derrière. Et Lâche ça, Amicia. Qu'est-ce que tu fais Reste derrière avec ton frère. C'est moi qui pousse. Rodrigue, laisse-moi t'aider. Ça va aller. Si tu veux aider, surveille les gardes. D'accord. D'accord, faisons ça. Cache-toi, Rodrigue T'en fais pas pour moi, petit Ils 
à l'escalier Venez vite Un peu mieux. Je te suis. Bon. Désolé. Je suis désolé. Putain Putain Hugo, viens, il faut partir. And now for the final really big guard inducive battle that we have going on here. Uh, lots of heavily armored people, but a significant number of supplies from all around. And you can really do this in whatever way you want. It isn't until you get a little deeper where you're going to have an obnoxious amount of uh, archers trying to get you. And you can kind of see them there. So if you want to, you can maybe use some Devrontis and uh, trick this guy out just to spell. It would be nice if I could uh, aim right. And there we go. Tenez-vous prêt. So there's going to be a ton of guards around and lots of rats too. And for some reason, there's a bucket and you could use that to whatever ends you'd like, I guess, because it doesn't attract guards. So I don't know why that's there, but I, I guess you can hit it if you want to. Um, Melly and Lucas also have a real bad tendency of getting caught around here too. It's really annoying. So we just got to take them out as we see them and uh, maybe even get some of their torches. So if I can get that archer. That might actually help out a bit, but I'm a bit too far. So we can explore this place once we're done sort of excavating and whatnot, but uh, let's just err on the side of caution. Ok, 
Okay, well that was really dumb and uh, I was hoping to get him before he was able to launch at us that fast, but man, that's rough. Let's go ahead and just do this. We have plenty of materials. You are just going to need a lot of Ignifer and a lot of Extinguish. Well, actually not really even Ignifer now that I think about it, but before we go ahead, uh, let's just keep on exploring. Hope that I killed everybody. And as it turns out, there is one more workbench, so I guess I was just full of shite back then. That was my bad. I forgot about this place, but six tools. Good God. All right, yeah, so you can't even buy anything. You can't craft anything. <sighs> what was once a beacon of hope in this dreary post-plague world was only extreme disappointment now that we can't do anything about it. But uh, go ahead, grab your stuff, and uh, you also want a lot of rocks. I am surprisingly low on them. I've been missing a lot of them on this playthrough, and I think it's the double tap that's screwing me in because the first time I played this, I didn't really go for, you know, slinging up two rocks at the same time. You still have to let them, uh, you know, lock on and stuff, and uh, I'm just not used to it, so pretty awful. But before we head up to the gallows, uh, we are going to grab our final collectible, a curiosity that is just right here on the other side of this staircase, I guess. And it comes in the form. Manuel de l'Inquisiteur. T'es sérieuse? C'est vraiment un manuel pour cette femme. Elle a été écrit avant du virus. Elle va en faire en sorte qu'il n'y ait pas de suite. Damn straight. So, uh, we have literally collected everything, which is fantastic, and uh, I was going to go through some more of these, but I haven't found any really good opportunities to really talk about a lot of them, but yeah, nice little gifts, and the curiosities, some of these that we ended up skipping, mostly because they were in the middle of pretty plot-intensive stuff, the night figurine is kind of cute, <laughs> the whip! And the manual on how to be an Inquisitor. The Hardenois helmet. That one was locked away for a while. So, yeah. Relatively uh, <laughs> insightful, I guess, literally. This is kind of creepy. Looks like me when... <laughs> I never mind, I'm not even going to say it. Let's get the hell out of here and prepare for more combat. Oh, yeah. Oui, Amicia, il va faire une grosse bêtise. Je le sens. Une bêtise? Quel genre de... Excusez-moi. Mais on est là pour le buter de toute façon, non Il va commencer. Allons-y, Hugo. Maman est là-dedans. 